Now I want to take you back to Greece and to Olympia where the flame lighting ceremony is taking place. Let's have a listen in as we expect that flame to be lit in the next five minutes or so. Statues in the ancient times. We will be seeing these Kuroi later on. And waiting for us at the temple. We have the priestesses featuring the high priestess as well. The artistic director of the flame lighting ceremony and the choreographer Artemis Ignatiou, who will uh, in a few moments' time formally, there she is, when she will strike the drum, that will formally begin the torch lighting ceremony. The distinguished guests led, of course, by the, uh, the president. Και τα αγάλματα που θα σμιλεύονταν προ τη μήν του και τοποθετούνταν στην ιερή άλπη, εκεί όπου μόνο οι θεοί. This is always a very magical moment, the official Olympic flame lighting ceremony. In ancient Olympia, of course, the uh, flame was lit throughout the duration of the games, and that is the continuity that we're seeing in the modern era as well. Once this flame is lit, it will not be extinguished until the closing ceremony. So that the scene live in Olympia, where the sacred flame for the Paris 2024 Olympics is to be lit in, of course, the ancient birthplace of the Games. There will then be the torch relay, which will spread from the Acropolis to the South Pacific, as you can see. Hundreds of dignitaries and spectators are there in southwest Greece, where the modern day Olympics were born, and where the ceremony is held every two years for both the summer and the winter Olympics. Now, you can see there, uh, there is the Greek actress Mary Mina. Now, she is, we think, going to help bring the Olympic flame to life with the help of a parabolic polished mirror before handing it to the first torch bearer. So there is a parabolic mirror that you can see there is in the middle of your shot, um, which we think is actually what is going to be used to help light the flame. It will then be passed to the first torch bearer, who is a Olympic rowing champion. Um, and then it will be handed on as it goes on the torch relay. Now, the ceremony here in Olympia being conducted in the ruins of the 2,600-year-old Temple of Hera. Uh, as we saw in the pictures, the Greek president is there, as is the International Olympic Committee president, Thomas Bach, who we heard uh, talking a little earlier. The torch itself harks back to the ancient Olympics when a sacred flame burned throughout the Games. The tradition was revived in 1936 for the Berlin Games. Now, uh, there will be an 11-day relay of the torch on Greek soil. Some 600 torchbearers will carry the flame over a distance of 5,000 kilometres through 41 different municipalities and areas of Greece before it is then given over to the Paris 2024 organisers. That will happen um, in uh, April, um, in the late 26th is when the actual flame gets handed over to Paris. So what we're seeing at the moment is this ceremony um, where we expect that uh, the polished parabolic mirror will be used that you can see there in the shot to help light the flame. Let's have a listen in.
So if you have just joined us on BBC News, we are watching live from Olympia in Greece the sacred flame lighting ceremony for the Paris 2024 Olympics. It of course happens in Olympia, which is the birthplace of the ancient games before that uh, torch relay takes place from the Acropolis to the South Pacific. There you can see the flame being walked in to the ancient 2,600 year old temple of Hera uh, in Greece. The Greek president, the International Olympic Committee president amongst the dignitaries there as of course are the officials from the Paris 2024 Games. The actual Olympics will start on the 26th of July in Paris, 19 days of competition. But of course, before that gets underway, there is always the torch relay and it starts from Greece uh, where that flame will make its move during an 11 day relay in Greece itself. Around 600 torch bearers will carry that flame over 5,000 kilometers through 41 municipalities before it is then handed over to the Paris 2024 organizers. That will have a special ceremony as well at the site of the first modern Olympics of 1896. Uh, that will happen on April the 26th. Then, of course, the across France, there's going to be 10,000 torch bearers that will carry the fame across 64 different French territories. Uh, there'll be 400 towns, dozens of attractions during its 12,000 kilometre journey, both through mainland France and also uh, the overseas French territories in the Caribbean, Indian Ocean and Pacific. So there we see the flame being put down, um, ready for the ceremony for the torch to be lit in ancient Olympia. Ιερά σιωπή, να ηχήσει όλος ο εθέρας, η γη, η θάλασσα και οι πνοές των ανέμων, όροι και τέμποι, σιγήστε, ήχοι και φωνές πουλιών, παύσατε, γιατί μέλη να μας συντροφεύσει ο φίβος, ο φωσφόρος βασιλεύς. Απόλλωνα, θεέ του ήλιου και της ιδέας του φωτός, έστειλες τις ακτίνες σου και άναψε την Ιερή Δάδα για τη φιλόξενη πόλη του Παρισιού και εσύ Δία χάρισε ειρήνη σ' όλους τους λαούς της γης και στεφάνωσε τους νικητές του Ιερού Αγώνα So that is Greek actress Mary Mina, who is the high priestess who is now holding that Olympic torch as she moves down to light from the flame the first torch of the relay. So there we have the Olympic flame has been lit in Olympia in Greece ahead of the Paris Summer Olympics. As I say, the Greek actress Mary Mina now holding that Olympic flame. She is the high priestess in this ceremony and now lighting it another flame that will burn there. Of course, there are always backup flames whenever the torch relay happens, just in case the torch 
does go out, there is always a backup flame that it can be relit from so that once that flame is lit, it will continue throughout the journey that it will take first traveling through Greece before crossing the Mediterranean to France. That's going to happen in May on a three masted ship. It will then travel through France and its overseas territories before arriving in Paris for the start of the Games in July. That ceremony is continuing in Olympia and you can continue to watch that on our BBC News website and app. We have a special live feed from the ceremony if you do want to go and continue watching that flame lighting ceremony from Olympia.